look at you can see right here we have our data of course our RAM data and then also the data in our grid view over here if you click a single item you can see we get of course the name of the spacecraft over right here okay now what of if you want to add if you want to add it's quite easy you simply come over right here then click our fab button then type whatever we want to add over right here okay so this is it then of course if we click uh, save over right here you can see our data and then of course it also gets reflected right here so yes this is it this is what you're gonna look at so join me and get started do is to create our project of course point our browser to console.firebase.google.com once we're there of course come over right here create our project for instance for me you can see i'm having several projects over right here so for instance uh, the one that we're going to use for with our grid view is this one over right here so once you've created it come over to it then come click here and then come and choose manage now the first thing we want to do is to download the configuration file okay some json configuration file we want to make sure that you download this is it you just come click it then you download it we are going to add it to our let's come over right here you can see my project right here grid view click our project then of course come right here and then choose database you can see so far right here i'm having an empty database i don't have data in my database so the first thing that we want to do of course is to come to rules what we want to do is very simple we want to allow a public manipulation of our data okay so for us we don't want uh, this is a simple tool we don't want any authentication so come over right here we uh, provide the rules for that now you can see right here alt is not equal to null for these ones we're going to just have them as true no read true yes we're going to allow our reads to be reads and reads to be true right here then we come click publish so guess this is going to do what right here we're doing we're simply our users don't have to be uh, authenticated for us to read or write our data okay so that's what we're doing so do that one please and then click publish and that's it now the next thing let's move on with our project let's create our project once you've created your project come to your build or cradle over right here in fact uh, let's come start with your project level then come and add this one in your class part so come right here class part then add this one over here then of course move to build or credit the app level so for us of course uh, we're going to come over right here and say apply plugin just build right here come at this particular code then of course this is a custom grid rule of course we can do so we also need to add uh, this support library for the card rule now once we've done that one we're also going to come over right here of course we're using firebase so make sure you add the firebase code and also the firebase database so guys once we've done that one of course let's go ahead before we move to our manifest come right here to our project files now you remember the json file that you guys downloaded here copy it and then bring it over right here so come right click over here then press it over right here you can see i'm having it over uh, google services the json if you can see the project files just come over right here you shall be able to have uh, our project files then come over right here right click and uh, paste it okay place it over under this particular app directory so once we have that one guys this is our configuration for our firebase database so uh, this is our configuration that we downloaded so please make sure you do that one then of course we're going to move to our manifest the only thing we need to add to our manifest is to make sure that we have the permission for connection to the internet guys let's move over to our classes Into to our classes in fact before we move to our classes let's move over to our layouts for me i'm having four layouts such as the main content main input dialog this is my input dialog over right here then of course uh my model.xml right here this is the model that we shall inflate to represent a single grid in our grid flow so that's it this is going to be our layouts of course they are self-explanatory then of course after that one we're going to come over right here now guys i'll expect you guys to create some packages which you can use to arrange your code i'm having just right click then come package then of course i'm having a firebase i'm going to have my firebase helper this is the class that's going to help us perform our cloud operations the reads and writes to our firebase or saving and retrieving then of course our m model this is the class this is our model class actually it's going to represent uh, the data objects that we're going to be dealing with then the custom adapter this is where we're going to bind of course first inflate our model dot xml into a single grid in our grid view then of course also bind our data 
our specific uh, those specific grids or uh, view items once we have that one of course we'll come over here to our main activity now guys let's start with the easiest one our spacecraft right here you can see it's a i've said it's uh, simply right here a data object you can see these are just getters and setters so we are having these three properties name propellant description then get name set name get propellant set propellant is that simple okay this is just going to represent for us a single spacecraft then we're going to move to our fabulous helper right here now inside this class this is where we're going to save our data we're going to retrieve we're also going to have a method that's going to return an array list we shall fill this particular array list now the first thing that we're gonna need is a database reference okay that we shall be using of course to save our data database reference is going to point us to our fabulous database then we're going to have this particular saved right here now and then we're going to have of course uh, our spacecrafts which shall be filling with their data that we've retrieved so guys for us it's going to be simple our database reference we're going to be training it via the constructor it shall be initialized inside our main activity then pass to us right here so you can see database reference then you we'll assign it over here once we are having that one guys then the next thing we we'll over and then see how to save our data you can see saving is very simple we shall be returning our boolean right here save what shall we be saving well a spacecraft object we pass it first our first check is to check if it's null if it is we set save to false otherwise we come over right here now for us we're going to call the push method then the set value the push method is going to ensure that we're going to automatically uh, we're going to save list of data so this is going to automatically generate for us unique ids for each particular item for each particular spacecraft okay then of course set value just to uh, persist our data we pass the spacecraft right here of course this is a situation where it's not null then you set our save to true if you're having a database exception we'll set it to false then return that particular uh, saved guys that's how we're going to save our data so the next thing that we're going to do we're going to see how to fetch our data to fetch our data is once more going to be easy you can see we have created this particular method fetch data what are we passing in we're passing in a data snapshot so the first thing remember our spacecraft uh, array list that we had at the top of our area here we come create uh, to avoid duplication of data so what shall be doing we shall be looping through the children of this particular data snapshot so data snapshot to get children we shall of course end up with uh, each particular data snapshot object then of course a spacecraft we simply get it from a particular value we just come right a data snapshot dot get value okay then we pass in the class what's our class spacecraft dot class then of course we come make sure that we add it over right here to our spacecraft okay at our spacecraft collection we add that particular spacecraft over right here so guys this one this is just a method this is going to help us uh, a helper method for us actually for us to uh, come right here and then to retrieve our data we will need to hook to uh, callbacks okay to our database reference callbacks so let's do so so for us we're going to do that one let's come over right here and then have a um, simple method right here that's going to take notes going to return for us an array list i'm calling it retrieve what are we going to be returning okay we're going to be returning our spacecrafts remember so we shall just say return spacecrafts this is what we return but then let's come over right here remember our database reference was being passed to us by the constructor of this particular class now for us what we're gonna have simple we're just going to say db which is our database reference object then we're going to here then say db dot add child event listener then we're going to pass an instance of child event listener over right here so new child event listener then this is going to generate for us a couple of callbacks right here of which we'll uh, take advantage of them and then of course call our fetch data method so you can see for instance on child added when our child has been added what we want to do we want fresh set of data so yes we're going to call our fetch data and then we agree to pass in a data snapshot we do so we pass over there that's it what next of so if a child has just we're also going to do the same thing okay we come over right here fetch data so you can see also we also have the own child removed when a single child has been removed our uh, own child moved when moved and then of course on cancelled so that's it guys this is our database reference callback right here and this is it in fact this one we've made it public take note right here you shall be calling it from our main activity guys 
this is how we are going to be performing our reads and rates uh, this is of, of course we're going to come to our custom adapter so let's come over right here this is the class first we're going to inflate our layout okay then we also the class where we shall bind our data now to do so let's come over right here i don't know why my machine today is hanging so much now the first thing we're going to do we're going to derive from our base adapter so we come here yes our base adapter class then we come over right here now for us to implement this couple of methods right here get count okay get item get item id and then get the value over right here so for us get count of course what is it uh, the count of our spacecrafts now we simply come spacecraft that size but then before that one in fact let's come okay this should be spacecraft that size okay now before this one we're gonna generate our constructor so uh, let's come over right here and then alt insert so that we j create our constructor okay now our constructor is going to take these two if you search it, this class will pass us the context also pass us our array list of spacecrafts then we come get count of said spacecraft with size then we'll get them now we're going to return a single spacecraft so for us it's going to be spacecrafts okay then we call the get method then we pass in the index which is the position okay what about get item id well we're going to use the position as the item id so guys that's it those are our class those are our of course simple uh, methods right here that we override do right here we're jumping to our get view method get view method take note we shall be returning a view object in fact at this particular convert view so yeah whatever we're running this is going to represent a single grid in our grid view what we shall be doing we shall simply be inflating this particular layout right here this is our model.xml will convert it into a single view item and then of course no but then inflation is an expensive process so what we're going to do first we'll check if the view right here that we're being passed is null if it's null is when we're going to inflate now this inflation we're only going to perform it once you can see we are passing in the c which is our context and then we pass in the r dot layout dot model of course what we want to inflate and then the view group right here and then uh, attach to root we say false then once we have that one we're going to come over right here of course get our text views then a single spacecraft take no spacecraft as we're simply getting calling our get item remember our get item was supposed to return for us an object so we cast it to spacecraft okay then name the txt we set the name we set propellant we set description then we come handle our own item click remember we've said this convert we're going to represent a single grid for us now we come set on click listener then we come on click what are you going to do we're going to show uh simply the name guys that's it this is our convert view no this is our what did we call it this is our custom adapter class okay this is our custom adapter class it's going to bind for us our data it's also we're going to inflate our layout okay so let's move on to our main and guys here we are with our main activity i've pre-typed our code so that we can try and make a tutorial that's around 10 15 minutes so you can see for instance the first thing we're doing we're simply declaring our database reference database reference is going to reference us to our database going to point us to our database firebase helper this is the helper class that we created custom adapter adapter class grid view and then we have three edit text over right here so the first thing of course we're going to reference our grid view over right here by calling the find view by id then we come we initialize our firebase database so how do we do so well we have our db right here we simply call our base database that get instance okay it gives us the instance of our delta of our base database then of course we come call right here get reference actually we are signing it to our database reference over right here okay then of course we're going to come right here helper equal to new firebase helper the helper class that we just created adapter also equal to new custom adapter no check not we're calling the helper dot retrieve what's our retrieve method remember we created this particular retrieve method to return for us an array list yes it's what we're returning right here we're passing it to a custom adapter we were supposed to pass in the context and an array list that's what we do then when we run our project for the first time of course we set our adapter right here gv set adapter over there okay then guys right here when now far button is clicked what shall we be doing okay you can see right here we shall be displaying input dialog 
this is a simple thing that we've done right here here is our code what we're doing this is simply a dialogue the first thing is a shared a dialogue we pass in the context we come set the title save to firebase of course then set content rule what's our content rule add it layer to dialogue well we have those ones now we're going to initialize this particular views which are contained in our dialogue remember we had this particular input dialogue layout you can see some of the views that have the edit text we were wrapping the text input layout so that's it we come we reference them take note d.find rule by id okay d is our dialogue instance then we come call our save button dot set to request now what do we do first we get our data name edit text and get text we cast it to string yes name profile and then the description then we come right here in such a single spacecraft we set its properties remember name profile and description so with this one by this one right here we are going to end up with a single spacecraft object with their name their propellant with their description we're going to perform a simple validation we want to make sure that the user has typed the name so if name is not equal to null and name dot length is greater than zero we proceed on to save otherwise we tell him name must not be empty how do we save we call helper.save okay then we pass in our spacecraft right here now remember our helper.save method our save method was returning for us a boolean that's why we're putting it in our if else statement if that's true then we come over right here we clear edit text uh, this particular edit text and then we reset our adapter over right here so that's it guys that's how we're gonna save our stuff but then by the way remember to call the show method for your dialogue to get shown okay it's very easy to get that wrong this does it that's our main activity uh and those are our classes just make sure that you set this one right here the permission and then yes does it is let's run our project so that we have a look here we come over click save right here you can see our data gets saved right here okay if you click a single item you can see you can get what we're doing now let's load our browser and see what we have and guys right here you can see the data that we just saved right here we have it over exactly right here okay so you can see everything is fine of course if you click a single item it shows you the name of your item guys that's it i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed this tutorial i'm hoping it's been less than 15 minutes we completed it less than 15 minutes i'll have to see that one but then if you've enjoyed the tutorial hit the like button share it with friends and family and subscribe so that you never miss any of our tutorials take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial Loading.